guys, and welcome in to Bench is Clear podcast, where we cover the best rivalry in all of sports. I am Jesse Gutierrez, and I represent the side of the San Francisco Giants. Were you going to say World Series champions there? Because it sounded like <laughs> it. And I'm Tyler Coe, and I represent the 2020 World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. I was going to say best team of the century. I mean, uh, best team of the decade. Um, In a but new decade, dingus. It's still the last 10 years. Still. Whatever. I don't know. I just. I, I froze and I decided to skip it, you know? And then you had to just, with your damn negativity, your damn and negativity. You, and it made you look like a jackass, but all right. All the time. All the time. Um, Let's get into some good stuff. Good stuff is happening. The stove is actually hot. You can feel the fire a brewing. Um, Giants signed Tommy Lastella. I wasn't expecting it. That's someone that I, that, um, I was – Really hoping they got, but when they signed Jason Vossler, I thought that was their kind of like their low cost way of getting what they think he Lacella would produce, you know, with a lefty inf- um, infield bat. Um, but yeah, uh, this guy's super underrated. Hit a walk off against the Giants when he was on the Angels. Um, is you know when he plays against the Giants, he tears them apart. So let's go. Yeah, I think it's a. I like Tommy Lestell a lot. Yeah, me too. I, I think I, it's I, a good pickup. Have they said, have they, because I know it's three years, but have they said the, the amount yet? They have not said the amount yet, and I am going to say this is Farhan's first multi-year signing. I'm not counting uh, two-year deals as multi-year. I think we've we talked about this a little bit. I, I, just – I understand it's more than one year and technically it is a multi-year, but I just hated how they blew it up. Like Farhan's first multi-year contract is going to Wilmer Flores. So I'm thinking three or four years, two years doesn't do it for me. First multi-year. Yeah, that's it. No, I'm, I, the, the, the number hasn't came out yet. Um, I, my, the speculation around that is because the giants 40 men is at 40 and they have to either DFA or trade someone. And the speculation is that they are, in talks with trading somebody um, so they don't have to DFA. That's why I've made it official, why some details haven't came out yet. Um, and if they do DFA someone, I would imagine they're going to DFA um, Stephen Duggar. But if if they do end up trading somebody, right, um, I would imagine they, they're they going to get one of their uh, – get rid of one of their righty infield bats, um, whether it be uh, Darren Ruff, uh, Wilmer Flores, or, or Donovan Solano. Um I can imagine them getting rid of Donovan Solano just because his value is so high. So I think he can actually bring something back in return. That's pretty solid. But if you're looking just to kind of drop somebody, um, I would maybe say rough, but oh, what kind of value is he going to bring unless someone needs a first baseman? Yeah. Well, maybe you guys are going to get rid of two people because the stove is reporting that uh, the giants are interested in Jock Peterson. So I don't know how you feel about that, but um, I could honestly, definitely, I, I could see him being it. there. I, I can too, there. because he's, he's from the Bay. So um, it seems like they always try to bring those guys back. Um, but I I just don't get it. Um, I, I, I don't understand. I think their alpha is pretty solid right now. Um, but if you're going to add someone, I would imagine – um, Rosario is going to be around the same ticket price, and that's someone I would rather have because it's I Jock hasn't played center field in a while, right? No, yeah. So, I, the only way I would imagine that they would pick Jock over Rosario would be defense because they do want someone to back up, um, um, Dubon in center. Uh, Yaz can do it, but he's not a great center fielder, so that's why I. I could maybe understand the JBJ thing, but at the same time, why pay for JBJ who's going to hit under 200 when you have Steven Duggar, who's a great center fielder, you know, and his problem is I don't you think Jackie hit. Bradley Jr. is going to hit under 200. Jesus. He always does. He hits, a, he hits at 200 at freaking Fenway. Okay. 
<laughs> so why why would it change now? What? Hold on. So you said he always hits under two hundred. Let's At see. Two hundred. He did that twice. His first two years in the league. And what were the ones right after it? 249, 267, 245, 234, 225, 283. He's a, career well, two, he's a career 240 hitter. And if you take out the first year where he only played 37 games and batted 189, he's probably a career 250 hitter. I don't know about that. It's math, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I think I saw I, I saw him around 200, under 200 twice. Maybe I just that, – that stain's always been on. But still, Stephen Dargan. I saw, Steven, Steven I saw him Dargan. go 0 for 4 and strike out four times one time, so he's a piece of shit. <laughs> but same thing. Stephen Dargan can probably do that same thing. Hit just over 200. Yeah, maybe. I just wanted to throw this out there because we kind of got lost on it. I think Tommy Lestella's deal is going to be for $20 million. Oh, yeah. We were, we were getting to that, and then something came up. Yes, you, you say $20 million, So you think he's going to be the same as Jerks and Profar? Well, it wasn't Profar 21. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, I didn't I – didn't, so you're saying 20, like that's your lock it in. I thought you were saying around 20. No, I'm going to say 20 even. Ooh, okay. Yeah, why not? Um, I'm, I'm not going to go – it seems like – I don't know, Farhan just pays less um, because Alex Wood is getting three – Three mil for the year. Every like Garrett Richards got like ten million over to play for Boston. So I, I don't know, man. I, I I wouldn't be shocked if he was under that. I mean, I think he deserves it. I, I yeah. think that you know he deserves more than Profar. So in that in that range, I would say maybe twenty five mil total. Well, that's why, you know? and that's I would say around twenty five, twenty six. But because it's the Giants, I'm going to say twenty. Okay, where where in the world? Where why are the Giants getting this all of a sudden first it was oh they just give out loyalty contracts and they have so many bad contracts and now they have the reputation of they, they don't pay people? Well, I'm not saying that they don't pay people. I'm saying I think he could have got a higher AAV if he went 2 years. Cuz everyone was still. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> everyone was saying he was going to get 2 years. So I, my thinking is the AAV comes down a little bit when you add an extra year onto it. Yeah, yeah, I, I could, I, I, I definitely see where you're coming from. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the over though. I'm, I'm gonna go the 25. You go 20, I go 25. I don't know. Winner gets to punch the other one in the face. Perfect. Okay. Um, and I'm, we'll take that serious. Uh, but it's as far as the Jock Peterson thing, yeah, I just I, – I think if he's going to platoon, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, a whole lefty outfield of Peterson, yeah, Stremski, and Dickerson. I, I mean, I know I know Jock played some center field, but was he – I don't think he's that great of an outfielder, right? When he came up, I mean, he was pretty solid. Uh-huh. But <clears throat> we just had better – outfielders and that's true maybe, maybe he can still play center field he just didn't because bellinger's better yeah i so feel if, if i would feel super comfortable with him in left field i think he's a great okay. left fielder well the giants right field is pretty much like a lot of people's center field there's a lot of room out there so um yeah, yeah it's just because strempsey's not a great center fielder so that's just that's kind of a weak defensive outfield for a, i mean it seems like a decent offensive but gosh you're just waiting for those home runs for jock and then your righty outfield would still be a stremsky um dubon and slater so yeah i get it. i just want slater to get more time i feel like slater is, is had a really good year and he's coming to his own so i i hope they don't sign anyone i hope they don't sign anyone they let <clears throat> slater play we'll find out and the stove is hot in Los Angeles. No. It's hot. The stove is ice cold. It's there's, hot. There's nothing going on. And before we started recording, Jesse was saying how Bauer is – the Dodgers are the favorites for Bauer. And I said, no, the Mets are definitely the favorites now. 
And Jesse goes on listing their rotation. Oh, we don't need, they don't need him. And then what happens a minute later, it is reported that Steven Matz is on the cusp of getting traded. Oh. I think it's already a done deal. They're starting to report. Oh yeah. It, it when they like have it like Steven that Matz, far. It looks like Steven Matz is going. Yeah. So it's, it's getting lobbed up for them to sign Bauer to spike it. Um, this is just a. I'm just fucking up all day today. JBJ is is a under 200 hitter. Wrong. Yeah. What other? They don't need. They don't. They don't need. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Oh, shoot. What's what's something I'm really passionate about? Oh, do you think uh, tomatoes is a fruit? Yes. Come on. It's really not though. But they are. Are they though? Yes. Nah. I mean, a fruit is like a strawberry watermelon that you eat like by itself. Tomato, you have to have on some. That's a vegetable. That's not yeah. true. That's, that's very true. That's not, that's not how you categorize a fruit and a vegetable. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's that's science right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you even the, graduate high school? <laughs> the lowest way you could graduate high school is how I graduated high school. All right, then I'll I'll take your word for it. You seem like a a pretty intelligent guy. <laughs> listen, you listen to, you listen to the mainstream media, okay? And they tell you what fruits are. I got my ears to the streets, okay? Okay. It's a vegetable. They're lying to you. Everyone search, listening, right search now for the real listening. truth. Everyone listening, search right for the now real. It's like, why the fuck am I listening to these two idiots <laughs> ramble on about fruit? They don't know shit about baseball. <laughs> they don't even know Jackie Bradley Jr.'s bad. <laughs> we just lost every. He's still we've not ever a had. good hitter. He's really not a good hitter. He's average. He's below average. I don't. I would say he's average in what's this his day and age. What's his What's his OPS? Let's hear it. Career. Uh, give me like the last. Three years, because I mean, eight fourteen, seven thirty eight, seven seventeen, seven twenty six, eight thirty five, eight thirty two. So eight thirty five, eight thirty two. Mm-hmm. Last two years? No, those are. I went in reverse order. Okay, so with the last two years, because I mean, you, you got to go the last eight fourteen, years. eight six, fourteen, eight fourteen, seven thirty eight. And what was the year before that? Seven seventeen. Yeah, he's a shitty hitter. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not deb- – I'm saying in this day and you age said baseball, he was average. Uh, he's average. Uh, that is the average in this day and age. OPS 100%. Yeah, maybe. And uh, for me, I would rather have Stephen D- – I think Stephen Duggar can do the same thing, and you don't have to pay the dude. Cool, dude. You can have, you can love, have your guys stand up. Why don't you go watch Moneyball? Really cool, bro. Moneyball's great. <laughs> well, what's his, what's his on-base percentage then? Uh, who's? Jackie Bradley Jr. That's what we've been talking about. I just told you. Wait, no. You oh, said you asked for, oh, oh, <clears throat> uh, 364, 317, 314, really? 323, 349, 335. Huh, he has a little Dude, better. Dude, he sucks. Hey, you learn something new every day. I'm not, I mean. Yeah, when I uh, teach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where would I be when without I'm, you, Tyler? When I'm around to show you the facts. What? Where would I be truth. without you? The real truth. I don't know. Here's the thing. In a ditch. <laughs> Probably. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I just have this bad feeling with JBJ. I don't know why, but I do. I say don't well, sign him. It's Give Stephen Duggar this shot. Yeah, it's probably most likely going to be Jock Peterson. So yeah, so the stove is ice cold in LA, and today we got some more. I don't know shitty news. Uh, Alana Rizzo isn't retiring, but she's stepping away for personal reasons. And I, I posted on our Twitter. You know, you can't be mad at anyone for putting their personal life ahead of their professional life. I mean, mm-hmm. kudos to her. But I'm bummed. Alana Rizzo is awesome. Mm-hmm. Just the, she's super knowledgeable. She always, you know, during interviews had great questions. And I think the biggest thing for me was her chemistry with the players and how they received her and how she received them. 
was so great that I think that's what made for her being, you know, such a great sideline reporter, interview questions. I mean, she just had a lot of chemistry with all the players. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a bummer. I'm, I'm yeah. super bummed that she's not going to be around, but. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I watched her a lot when she was doing like MLB Network stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I think she's really good at her job and yeah, I mean, but it, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to put your, your, you know, your personal life first and kudos for her to, uh, you know, taking that risk and, you know, having her priorities where they think they should be. And hopefully she just, she comes back eventually. Yeah. Hopefully it's um, nothing too serious as well, you know? Well, and that's, and that's my concern is, you know, when in her tweet she talks about all the different places she's lived and mm. i don't know if she still has parents who are alive or whatever but you know you hope it's not you know she has parents that are having failing health that she has to kind of take care of or whatever yeah, right, so right, hopefully right. it's just you know she kind of burnt out and whatnot yeah, all i'm trying to say is i hope it's nothing serious looking for ways to be like you know um where it's nothing serious and it's just her wanting to concentrate on herself more and wishing her great. Nothing but great things. You know, Fox Sports LA and Sports in LA had, uh, what was her name? Kelly Tennant, if you remember her. She was the person mm. that stepped away from, from reporting. And then it came out later that she was the one that was, you know, sexually harassed, sexually assaulted oh, wow. by Luke Walton. Do you remember this? I don't remember this. So yeah, and you know she's suing Luke Walton or whatever. Hopefully, it's nothing like that. You know, yes, and we've talked about it before. Women in sports, it's you know clearly isn't as equal of playing field as it should be, and they have to deal yeah. with a lot more. So hopefully, it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, um, it, it. Hopefully, it's just you know like she said something personal. So another gut check. Um, Barry Bonds did not make it into the Hall of Fame once again. Next year will be his last year. Uh, he did get receive a little bit of a bump going from like, I think it was 60.7 of the votes, and now he's just over 61 point something. So um, I, I just, I don't, under, I, I don't understand it. Uh, there was 14 um, people who didn't even, who, turned in blank ballots if you have a blank ballot just don't fucking turn in you shouldn't even get a vote it shouldn't go against any other player i, I just i mean we could talk about this when we're blue in the face and i really I, and i replied to so many people yesterday i'm not sure if you saw me on twitter just while and um but i just screen recorded that part in boys in the hood where um ice cubes like shut up bitch and i just like replied it to anyone who was talking anything negative about Barry Bonds not getting to the Hall of Fame, about him juicing. Shut up, Jeez. bitch. What a snowflake you are. Yeah, I, I went on I went on a fucking rampage against a bunch of people with like four followers, no profile picture. I, I was just so mad, annoyed, and upset. I was going through a rough time, okay? Because Bond should be on there. I mean, so should Clemens. Um, I just... This doesn't make sense to me. If Roids are in the hall, if you want, like, because the, the, the two arguments, right? One, he was on steroids. So, Roids, if, if you do that, you shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Roids are already in the hall. It's over. You should let him in. I, I, and then, you know, steroids uh, made him the player he was. They, that's where all of his numbers were. He was a Hall of Famer before he went on steroids. So, I don't, mm. I just. Mm. Was he? When do you think he took steroids, Tyler? I don't know. Exactly. You don't know shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you can't you can't just say that because we don't know. When you but you look you can't at just throw in an arbitrary like, year and be like, well, jump. I think he started taking There's it. There's an obvious jump. There's an obvious jump in home runs. Okay. When he's Where? averaging 34, averaging, I mean, he's hitting uh was it 37, 33, barely over the 40s. And then in 2000, he jumps up to 49. And then the next season he jumps up to 73. And then yeah. never and he and he never hit over 50 ever except that one. And then the next two he years he had 46, 45, and 45. Yeah, he was on okay. he was on roids. I'm I'm guessing from, from the power numbers here, looking like uh to 2000. 
Those it looks like okay. where the obvious uh, obvious jumps are. Okay, so if you if you take 1986 to 1999, let's mm -hmm. see. He hit over never hit over. Okay, he had one year we bad 336, but his two career best years for batting average were 2002 and 2004. He hit 370 and 362. Okay. First of all, I don't, I don't, I don't know where the fuck you're. Uh, I mean, I love average, but um, all of a sudden, average is a, a big thing now. No, it doesn't happen. Um, uh, yes, if, if, if it, we're it going from ninety nine, a fucking if we're nerd, going, I'm so upset man, right now. Man, you're so frazzled right now. I am I'm having such a bad day. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, back in three MVPs, bitch. Okay, and then you talk about not hitting over three hundred. Let me see where are we at. 300, 291, 294, 292. You can't, you can't be like, oh, he didn't hit on a 300 because he, he's still hitting in the 290s. Come on now. Let's see. <clears throat> I didn't realize you could do this on baseball. Baseball reference? reference? Sick. Yeah, you just look at all of his stats right here. No, look you at can't. all, look at all the shit. No, no, I'm not. On base listen, percentage. you don't. 456, 458, 426, 431. Four Listen, you fucking clod. Four I'm saying all over the fours. I'm saying I can group it so I can tell you exactly from 86 to 99 his stats. Are you ready? I'm ready for him, please. A 288 batting average. Okay. okay. A 409 on base. Average. A 409 on base percentage. Ooh, really okay. Good. A 968 OPS. <laughs> Only 445 home runs. Only 445. Jeez. 12 How many stolen bases? RBIs. 460 stolen bases. 400, 400 club before he got on roids. Okay. But we don't know. That's oh, the thing. We don't know. Here it goes. We don't know. Here it goes now. All we of a sudden, don't. you get proved wrong. It's, oh, we don't know. We don't we know. Don't. We, we don't know, though. Come on now. You are, you are fucking high. If you want to tell me, that he's not the home run king, I would agree with you. I understand. Obviously, steroids help them hit at least seven home runs. Okay? I completely agree with you. I cannot make that. I don't think my fandom will let me take that stand, but I completely understand and agree with what you're saying. I think you but, take out the 1999 season. Why would you take out the 1999 season? Because I think he was on steroids in 99. Okay, take take out the, what is it, 34 home runs? He's still hitting, how many? You said he was 400 and how many? Hold on. Uh, 411. Okay, still part of the 400-400 club. And a 290 hitter, a 411 on base, 966. Yeah, I mean, he's still. He's I, a Hall I of still, Famer, bitch. I still don't think he, he would be a Hall of Famer. They're going to have to start doing that because nowadays a lot of guys are getting out of the game at 34 and not a lot of guys are, are in the big leagues. at yeah, 20. So, yeah. So they're not going to make the hall of fame. I'm the sorry. Baseball but hall of fame is not like every other sport where just everyone can fucking get in. I'm not saying everyone. I'm not, I'm not advocating for Tim Lincecum to get in the hall of fame. Okay. Well, I'm advocating a for, few years. First of all, next year he's available. To be is is on the ballot. Second of all, no, I won't because longevity does count. He was very dominant for. Uh, I would have to pull up his reference page, but it would be yeah. what four or five years. You know what I mean? Like, but longevity counts. Like pulling it up and uh, making you look like an idiot again, but yeah. <laughs> no, but he was. He was dominant for. A no, very he was. Short time. He was. Um, and the, you know, people do make that case. I've heard that um, that they should do some peak guys because there's not very many. Um, like Don Mattingly was on it, um, Tim Lincecum, but there was like maybe two more, and they're saying it's not a lot of guys people who dominated for a very short period of time. Yeah, but then I don't, but then there are there are guys who are on the ballot, like fucking Dan Heron's on the ballot. Well, yeah, he shouldn't I, be anywhere near the ballot. Let him. Well, if you if you're eligible, you should be on the ballot, but that's what the five percent's for. You don't get five percent of the vote, you get kicked off the next year. Yeah. Let him be on the ballot. I, I don't think that's a big deal. If you qualify to be on the ballot, you should be on the ballot. But if Barry Bonds does not get in the Hall of Fame next year, 
and then some bullshit happens and, and David Ortiz is a first battle hall of famer, I'm burning down fucking Cooperstown. Like like straight up. I'm I'm so man, fucking done. Man, you are so snowflakey right now. I am you're that is you're so this upsetting. close. To, you're this close to just saying everyone deserves a trophy. <laughs> everyone should be on the ballot. Everyone deserves a trophy. You're because Barry Bonds needs to be on the Hall of Fame. That's a participation trophy. The most feared yeah. hitter in baseball. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my god, I feel like you just like I just wanted I just want to see your head explode. Like this is not even like well, this you know I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Jesus Christ, you know that. I just hate you so. I much. just like fucking with you a little bit. You know? <laughs> well, move, um, moving on, moving yeah, on. Thing, Maybe something this, we can't agree this is, upon. This I'm gonna have this this delicious mango smoothie from my hometown and uh, liquid bean free plug. Uh, it will calm you down and make you happy in 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 the the worst days. Cool, it's delicious. What do you what do you think about Kurt Schilling being a little baby back bitch <laughs> and doing the whole "I'm not fired, I quit" type thing? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I I'm not strong on character clauses being in the Hall of Fame. Um, I think his legacy is tainted because of the person he is now. Um, you know, when, when you talk about Kurt Schilling, nine times out of ten, it's not because of his baseball. Um, so I yeah. think he's ruining his own legacy. As far as being in the Hall of Fame, if I had a vote, and he, I mean, because I would have to go through his numbers to make an argument, right? If Obviously, if I was, if I had a vote, I would do, I would do the research and everything. But if his numbers were there, I think I would vote for him for the Hall of Fame. But his legacy is tainted. Like when you, t- like I said, when you talk about him, I mean, just because he's a shitty person. Because because at the same time, it's like if you don't allow him in, then you need to kick out Ty Cobb, like straight up. Well, yeah, but no. What I'm talking about specifically is: Did you see the thing that he wants to be taken off the ballot? No, that's what I'm. That's what, how I started. He's like, I'm not fired. I quit. Like, don't yeah, freaking. Okay, well, I, <clears throat> that's what I'm making sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand. Like, it's it, it's just, it's, I think, the thing that he said is, I care more about the, the Veterans Committee. I care, I care about, you know, I, I don't give a shit about the writers, um, what their opinion is. I, I care about the Veterans Committee's opinion of me. It's like, you can't say that when they already, like, didn't let you in. Yeah. Like, you were like, oh, I really, you, you like, advocated that you wanted to be in the hall and it was bullshit that you weren't in. Then, like, when you don't get voted in, you say you don't care about their opinions. You did care about their opinions. Dude, plus he's really close. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's what, like 4% away, right? 3.2%. Mm-hmm. 3. He was like 16 votes off, yeah. Yeah. So I can understand that, you know, his thinking is probably the trajectory is, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get more next year. Mm-hmm. You know? and it, but he yeah. might. I think, yeah. He, 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 he I think he should. Um, and I, I also want to put to bed. I, I was watching. A, um, I watched Chris Rose um, give his explanation on um, on Kurt Schilling, and I, I also just want to echo what he said. I thought it was it was it was really insightful. Um, the the thing is, he's trying to say he's not being in because he's a conservative. Let's put that issue to bed, okay? Because most guys in the Hall of Fame are conservatives. Most people who play, most guys who play baseball, conservatives. Mariano Rivera, I just found out from that video, Chris Rose, he's a big like Trump supporter and loves Trump. Yeah. And he of was the, the only unanimous, the only unanimous guy in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So I, it's not I, about I think, that. It's because he crossed lines. He crossed lines from being a conservative to being a piece of shit person who pops off at the mouth too much. Right. Well, that and that's what I was going to say. I think it's more of like, you can have your political opinions about whatever, but as soon as you start, you know, spouting them off like a jackass, like Aubrey Huff or Kurt Schilling, then yeah, that's going to affect it a little bit. And it's not so much just a political opinion. It's, you know, I, I don't know what Kurt Schilling says or what he's tweeted or whatever, mm-hmm. but I'm sure some of it sometimes fringes on like human rights issues. Like, mm-hmm. You know, yes. I'm sure they don't yeah. have the highest opinions of the LGBTQ plus community. So and Muslims and 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 yeah, he's he's popped off right. the mouth. And there's certain lines where it's like you go from, hey, you know, 
immigration this to being a racist piece of shit. So right. So I couldn't care less. He gets in. Yeah. Don't care. He does. Don't care. Yeah. It exactly. I don't care. Yeah. I, like I said, if I had a vote, I'd probably vote for him. But I'm also not going to, you know, be championing it for for him to get in or celebrate when he does get in. Yeah. Um, whether it be Veterans Committee or or, or whatever. Um, but Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens next year. If, if they wait till the very end, I mean, writers just have too much power. They're they're fucking little dick. Like you know, have something to prove. Little man syndrome. I I, I don't understand it, but whatever, that's fine. If they're gonna exclude them and then and then have David Ortiz in the Hall of Fame, I'm 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 I, I just don't know what to do. I, I I'm so fucking done. So yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe you know once he when he dies and Pete Rose dies, they'll get in. Uh, after that's the thing, fact, but... Pete Rose needs to be in too. So I, I... hundred percent. Yeah, the so... best hitter in baseball ever. It's it, let's not even close. About it multiple times. I don't care if he bet on baseball as long as he bet on himself to win. If he didn't throw any games, like that should be complete legal. Be like, yeah, hundred thousand on myself that we're gonna beat the shit out of these guys, or yeah. that I'm, I'm gonna hit a home run. That's that should be a fine. That should be allowed. Like Kobe did one year anniversary. R.P. Kobe on the freaking free throw line. Fifty thousand. He was like, you, man, yeah. you don't think I'm gonna make fifty thousand on the free throw line? That's that's entertainment, and that's like bet on yourself. That's awesome. Throwing yeah. games and ruining the game. No. So, especially with how commercial sports betting has become and is yeah. becoming. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm so bummed. Like one of my best friends lives in Pennsylvania. He just gets to bet on his phone because there's a sports book not too far away from him. Mm. But I have to go on some offshore website where when I cash out, they send me a Chinese check and it has to wait three months to clear in my fucking bank account. I mean, what what about FanDuel and DraftKings? Can't you just do that? No, that's that's like fantasy shit. Oh, so you can't do straight bet. I'm talking like – I'm too cheap. Lines. To bet. So, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm too cheap to bet. I lose twenty bucks in Vegas, and my fucking trip's ruined. So, I yeah, I don't, I don't even. <sighs> go that far. Man, I need to teach you how to be a man. <laughs> uh, one day. One day. As always, this episode is brought to you by Renovation Candle Company, where spring candles are available now, and they smell great. <laughs> So don't be so, a doofus. Okay. It's a renovation candle company. Thank you. Renovation <laughs> candle company. Uh, yeah. Buy that shit. Do it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to subscribe to us on your favorite podcasting platform. Leave a uh, review on us on Apple Podcasts. Please helps us grow. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Benches Clear P. Instagram, Betches Clear Podcast. We'll see you next week. This time next week, Trevor Bauer will be a Met. Justin Turner will be a Dodger. Take that shit to the bank. And if it doesn't happen, I get to punch Tyler in the dick.